The attack got delayed due to heavy casualties and early monsoon rains. As they were on the verge of closing the regiment, the women sent a petition saying that we are willing to die in the battlefield and do not want to retreat. During this time, Lakshmi was volunteering in an INA hospital, but few days later it got heavily bombed. As they tried to evacuate the survivors, Captain Lakshmi was caught and arrested in Burma on March 1946. The INA trials helped release her. After her release, she married Colonel Prem Kumar Sahagal. The couple moved from Lahore to Kanpur. Here, Lakshmi plunged into her medical practice between the flood of refugees from Pakistan. She also led a medical team to the Bhopal gas tragedy in 1984 and worked towards restoring peace in Kanpur after the anti-Sikh riots. Lakshmi received the Padma Vibhushan in 1998 by then President R.K. Narayanan. She was still seeing patients regularly, even at the age of 92. Lakshmi died on 23rd July 2012 in Kanpur at the age of 97. These days, Girls and women have the right to education, but during those times, an educated woman with an MBBS was a big achievement. The main thing about Lakshmi Sehgal was that though she was a woman, she defied all odds. Each and every Indian should be proud that a person like Captain Lakshmi came from our country and had a major part in the country's independence. If we have the freedom from British rule today, we must also thank the blood and sweat put from the soldiers who fought for us.